guys welcome to today's video where we'll be delving into egyptian mythology today we'll be discussing the Ennead. the Ennead were a group of nine deities worshipped in the heliopolis as the preeminent gods in ancient egypt this comprised atom often equated with the sun god ra he was the first deity to appear from the primordial waters of Nun. Axum produced from his sneeze, or in some accounts, Semen, Shu, the god of air, and Tefnut, the goddess of moisture. Shu and Tefnut mated to produce Geb, the personification of the earth, and Nut, the personification of the sky. Geb and Nut were locked in a tight embrace, which prevented all life as we know it. Shu would then intervene pushing Geb down and essentially holding us up, which allowed for creation to continue once more. Geb and Nut in turn were the parents of Osiris, Isis, Set and Nephthys. Osiris was the god of fertility, afterlife and the dead. He was considered the eldest son of Geb and Nut and was to be the ruler of the cosmos before being killed by his brother Set. Isis was the consort of Osiris, associated with motherhood, healing, and magic. Her reputed magical power was said to be greater than that of all other gods, with which she governed the skies and had power over fate itself. Using her power, she resurrected her husband Osiris long enough to give birth to Horus. Seth was a god of deserts, storms, violence, and disorders. He was portrayed as a usurper and was commonly associated with the planet Mercury. He also had a positive role where he accompanied Ra to repel Apep, the serpent of chaos. Nephthys was a concept of scent and was associated with morning, night, childbirth. She represented divine assistance and protective guardianship. Owing to the duality of ancient Egyptian myths, this is just one of many creation stories. They believe no one myth was superior to the other. Rather, some amalgamation of these stories were correct. Other notable creation stories include the Memphites and the Hemopolitan creation stories. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Till next time on All Things Mythology.